a quick video in the early dawn in New Mexico, Santa Fe. There's a poem I wrote yesterday, I think, or today. It's just come out. Nothing changes until something breaks open within. Nothing changes until something breaks open within the hard shell. The hardness of us must somehow break open. This spiritual transformation that I'm talking of at least is not a simple change of thoughts. It hasn't got much to do with thinking. It's not about that. It's not a walk in the park. It's not that easy. Nothing changes until something breaks open within. And that means some softening must take place after the breaking. Something must happen. For there is a hardness within us that covers over the tenderness, that covers over the softness, that covers over this emptiness. And something must break open. I'm sorry if it sounds dramatic, but in many ways it is. It's not a walk in the park. It's tough. It calls us again and again. Maybe tears. There may be some drama. There may be fears. There may be hotness, there may be heat. There's usually heat trapped in the body armory, in the subtle energy body, and in the not so subtle energy body. I don't think the body isn't involved. The body is involved in this, as much as the emotions and the thoughts and the beliefs and the ideas and the accumulated things that we've gathered up over the years. All of this is involved. All of this must be met and broken open. It's not an action of the mind. It's not the mind that says, I will break open because something beautiful is going to happen. It's, it, it just doesn't work like that. It's not like that. This is not, nothing to do with mind, nothing to do with thoughts. This is the deepest. This is a, a deeper calling as if we don't even know really why it's happening, why we're doing things. There's no logic to it. There's only the longing and a desperate kind of impulse to be done with some level of inner division, some level of inner suffering, some level of carrying wounds that don't belong to us, grievances that don't belong to us. And at some point, that suffering grows and grows and gathers force within us. And something within says, nah. And it breaks open. Breaking open is not an act of will. Breaking open is an act of surrender because the will has no longer works in many ways. The will no longer does what it thinks it should be doing and what its job is no longer works in the way that it used to and in that moment maybe a surrender happens it can't be strategized it can't be forced it can't be bartered with it can't be it's not like that it doesn't just doesn't work like that when all of our strategies have run their course when all of the will has done everything that it has tried to do to stay the course so then we run out of ideas, we run out of options, we run out of strategies, we run out of defences. Everything runs its course, and there we are, left, strategyless, naked, meeting just the depth of what is, and something breaks open. 
and that breaking open isn't really often very nice and it might be a breaking open instantly or as is usual it's a breaking open over time as the layers and layers and layers start to reveal themselves and we are multi faceted, multi-dimensional, <laughs> multi-layered creatures. And things come undone gradually for most of us. That's why I talk of the gradual path. This is nothing to do with changing thoughts, having spiritual thoughts, feeling good about yourself, feeling peaceful, feeling better. It's nothing to do with that. It's much more essential than that. It's the ragged truth of us. Something must break open, something deeper to be realised. That's the way it is.